Hello everyone and welcome back to Silverstar Arcade and more The Great Ace Attorney Escapades. Today, episode 7, On Briar Road. A chillin' escapade about a shillin's escape from the clutches of Roy Lee and Pat Beat, who'd only just found on the street. Gina the pickpocket is the obvious suspect, but Ryonsuke, Ryonsuke Sholmes and Iris happen to be passing and the plot quickly thickens. Oh no, it's all of these voices. Thirteenth April, twelfth. Nah, darn the audio. Thirtieth April, twelve twenty p.m. Briar Road. Oh, it's these guys again. Sa Constable Rowley beat her put in for duty. Thanks to the good off office of Lord Von Zeeks. And back on me beat here at the capital, doing me best for the good citizens of London, sir. Ah, my Royley. Back in his Bobby's uniform. You couldn't look any more handsome if you tried. Ah, oh, my love. You say the sweetest things. Oh, Pat. Oh, Royley. Isn't this, like, the exact same thing as what we saw in the end credits? To us, Lord Von Zeeks isn't the Reaper of the Bailey at all. Oh, no, of course not. He's, he's the patron saint of Bobby's. The patron saint? Oh, yes, Pat, you're so right, my darling. Keeping us in pocket, he is. On my first day back on the job, what did I find in the gutter? A shilling, my love. A whole shilling. Oh, Roy Lee, I always believed in you. I always knew one day you'd find some big, small change. With just that shilling, I could buy you a cheap a bunch containing a single flower, my sugar. A single flower? Oh, how romantic. You know what? This, I don't care what anyone says. This is sweet and wholesome and, like, like they love each other no matter how poor they are. Or, like, how, like, inefficient they may seem. I like this. I want this in my life. God, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so sorry, Pat. Only moments ago, the chillin' disappeared. D disappeared? But, but how, my love? How? Oh, I don't think we've seen this. Uh, I keep wanting to say sprite, but this, you know, model... I think maybe. No, oh, I'm sure. It was this girl here, sir. You swiped my precious shell, didn't you, you cheeky little diver? Blimey. You took your time getting around to me, didn't you? I thought that lovey dovey stuff weren't, going, weren't ever gonna end. So, a shell, you say? Lift it from your wallet. Don't know nothing about it. Where's the evidence, eh? Right there, the evidence is stats around the back of your hand, young lady. You stole it from me. Lifted it from my pocket just now. You got a nerve stealing from a bobby. Cobblers, this coin's mine. How could you know anyway? How could you know if this was taken just now or not? Dear me. Oh, whoops, I almost went into some seconds. Sir. Yes, sir. Dear me, you don't get it, do you? You've hardly got a penny to our name, so that coin felt as heavy to me as a gold, as a bar of gold, eh? I'm telling you, the moment it left my pocket, I knew. I felt myself get a good, a good few pounds lighter. Yeah. Yep, that coin has got my blood, sweat, and tears all over it. Ugh. Oh, hey, she looked us. What's the matter with you, eh, Mr. Nara Odo? Uh, m me? Sorry? So wait, is this before or after the fifth trial? Because she's saying Naro Odo, and she only ever called us that in the fifth trial, if I remember correctly. But these guys were from the fourth trial. So when does this take place? When a lady's in trouble, a true gent's supposed to be there to help straight away, not an hour later. This isn't my fault, I haven't stolen anything. And what about you, eh, Sholmes? I thought you were supposed to be a great detective. Dear me, Mr. Stride. 
You took your time getting around to me, didn't you? I thought that long dispute was never going to end. <laughs> oh, you cheeky bastard. You only said, give us a minute, when we spied you over the road and said hello. And that was ten minutes ago, Ginny. We've just been standing here, listening to you quarrel with this Bobby. To beg your pardon, madam. We shouldn't be troubling the public with police business. But that shilling belongs to us, doesn't it, Royally? Of course it does, my love. It's just for you and me, my darling. Gah. This was just supposed to be a nice stroll with Iris and Mr. Sholmes before afternoon tea. <laughs> Why do we have to run into another fiasco on Briar Road? I don't really see how we could be of any help, Gina. There's no way of knowing who the coin really belongs to if it was just dropped in the gutter. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Runo. What? I have a feeling I might know the answer to the question of whose coin that is. Was it Sholmes? Ah, my bright young fellow lodger. Let us hear your deduction. Well, there's actually a reason why I suggest a stroll down Briar Road. Oh, what reason? You see, I was here yesterday and, well, I dropped a little something. So I wanted to come and look for it while enjoying an afternoon stroll. Wait, you dropped something? You don't mean... It was the pocket money that Hurley gave me. What's this, Iris? You dropped that, did you? I'm... I'm sorry. I went to the market on Lime Street yesterday to pick up some herbs, you see. But on the way, I must have dropped it. The one shilling coin you gave me. Oh! Yeah, a one bob bit? Yes, and when I thought back... When I, and when I thought back over the route I took, I realized I must have dropped it here. Constable, you haven't seen it, have you? It's all my pocket money, and now it's gone. Iris, you better be- Iris, you are more rich than you need to be. This is awful. You- because we know the Bobby's gonna- Well, um, I'm- I- I'm afraid I don't know anything about that young lady. God damn it, Royally. What? What wrong luck dropping your money like that? Sorry. I dare say the constable and his companion could give you a run for your money with their wide eyes. It's all the same to you, Mr. Sholmes. I think I'd prefer you not to be used as the yardstick for looking guilty. Well, it's tough really, isn't it, Iris? You dropped it, so it ain't yours no more. Anyway, you know what they say. What goes around comes around, so don't feel bad. Bad luck, Iris. It doesn't look like you're going to get your coin back. Oh, I can't believe I've lost it. And straight after Hurley gave it to me as well. Yes, regrettable indeed. I seem to recall that particular coin was rather significant. What do you mean, significant? To be specific, it was especially significant to you, Runo. Significant to me? Uh, you don't mean it was the coin from last night's wager The very same my dear fellow What's this then what wager? It was a game of poker a duel between Hurley and Runo Poker what that tricky card game you mean as a lawyer? I have the perfect poker face. You'll never be able to tell what I'm thinking said he but depriving Mr. Nahodo of his entire fortune was even easier than finding that missing thoroughbred. <laughs> it was so infuriating. Reliving it now, it still makes me grit my teeth. Sorry, Iris. I had every intention of paying you back the money I owe you, but you'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Next month is fine. Let me guess, Otto. Your whole fortune? It was the one whole shilling my entirely monthly stipend, and I lost all of it. As I handed it over to Mr. Sholmes, I grated my teeth so hard my gums started to bleed. Please, Runo, don't exaggerate. That's a horrible image. What about a lawyer who borrows money from a 10-year-old girl now? That's a, now that's a horrible image. 
Why do I feel like my reputation with this couple has just fallen through the floor? <laughs> there are a few things more invigorating than taking a man for all his worth. Don't be so pleased with yourself, Hurley. It's not as if Runo ever had a chance of winning. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Well, using that special ink I developed, anyone could- Thank you, Iris. That will do. I'm sure this conversation has proven very dull for everyone. What's done is done! The game is over now. There's no point crying over spilt milk. Special ink, you say? Well, sir, that sounds like the sort of risky business that's right up my alley. Oh, Royley, I love your dauntless spirit. You laugh in the face of danger. Come on, then, Iris. Spill it. What's this special ink about, eh? Ah, well, it's what's sometimes called invisible ink. All you have to do is write the suit and number on the reverse side of every card. And with the aid of some special glasses, the whole game is laid bare to you. Wait, you were in glasses that last night, weren't you, Mr. Sholmes? You said something along the lines of, My eyesight appears to have suddenly worsened. And the moment you failed to question that is, and the moment you... And the moment you failed to question that as odd was the moment I knew I had won the game. Mind games, was it? Trying to throw me off with your eccentric ways? <laughs> so you're telling me Sholmes could see every card what Otto had? What? But that's... that's not mind games. That's blatant cheating. My dear fellow, what an accusation. Would you honestly consider me a cheat? Please, I prefer Trickster. <laughs> Whatever you call it, the game doesn't count now, understand, Mr. Sholmes? Dear me. Well, out of respect for the bad grace with which you take defeat, allow me to return your shilling. Did you hear that, Gina? So give it here. Eh? Leave me out of this. This little one bob bit was mine from the start, no question. No, sir, that there one bob was lifted from this... He had Bobby's pocket only a few minutes ago. So you keep saying, come on then, where's the evidence? Eh? The law, right? It's all about evidence. I know my stuff. You see, Mr. Naruto, use a trite excuse in court and others will parrot, parrot it. But only when I do say that in court, it isn't as trite excuse, you know. As I said, sir, that coin has my blood, sweat, and tears all over it. That's right, it has. Royley's blood, sweat, and tears are the evidence. Hmm. Blood, you say? In that case, it's time. For this. Uh, do, do you think? Well, if there's any trace of blood on that coin, we'll soon know about it. Alright, Genie. Hold very still. Eh, what? Pop. Ah! Look at that, see there on the coin? It's clearly changed color. In other words, there is blood on this coin. Once again, as I said, Sa, that would be my blood, sweat, and tear. Ooh, wait, I've seen blood turn that color before. Yes, I know whose it is. I know whose coin it is. What? The rightful owner of this bloodstained shillin' is... Runo! Huh? Me? And from the appearance of the blood, I would say is quite fresh. Left within the last 24 hours. Within the last... Ugh! Then, in that case... So, this is the coin what Sholmes out of Odo last night in the poker game? Oh, Runo! Do you mean you really did make your gums bleed? I told you I was so frustrated to lose I had to grip my teeth as I handed over the money. Blind me. You're as odd as up as me by the sound of it. But I thought you had the proper job. Come on, Gina, just hand it over, would you? The shilling. That's rightfully mine. Ugh, fine, alright then. Just stop your bleeding staring. <laughs> I finally have it back. It's like a dream come true. They're playing the victory music. I nearly had that one in the bag and all. 
That's wonderful news, you know. I'm so happy for you. Now then, as you promised... I'd like my money back, please. The shell and I lent you before. <laughs> you did say that you'd paid back out of this month's pocket money, didn't you? Oh, um, yes. Well then, I suppose... My dear fellow, do be kind to your gums. Looks like that shilling was always... was always destined to be taken from you, sir. For some reason, the phrase serves you right is floating around in my head. So, Iris, as promised, here is the shilling I owe you. Oh, you're repaying me already? Well, thank you. Next month will have been fine, though. What's it all about anyway? What are you lending all the money for? Ah, yes. Well, actually, it's because I went to the Lime Street Market yesterday to buy herbs. For Runo. Herbs? For Otto? Yes, the tea Mrs. Soda left behind is top quality Gugro tea, but it's just so bitter. So when Iris suggested mixing it with some herbs to make it more palatable, I asked her to buy me some. So this is after the last trial. Hey, Gina, that means they're out of prison already. That's right, we've made a special Japanese herbal tea with the leftover gyokuru. I'm going to call it Susie's Special Blend. I do hope you'll all try it. The excruciating bareness clings to the throat, if you can persuade the bright green glob to leave the cup. Why, it sounds quite delicious. Yeah, right. Huh, that's... Is it over? No, it's not. Well, it would appear this shilling's brief adventures are now at an end. Ad- Ugh, sorry. Adventures? You must agree, my dear fellow, that the coin has made a considerable journey since last night. Let's see, originally it was the coin I was supposed to give to Iris to pay for the herbs. But then, in our poker duel last night, it passed to you, Mr. Sholmes. We gave it to Iris as spending money, but then I dropped it here sometime yesterday. Then my beloved Roy Lee found it a little while ago and picked it up. Before it was lifted from my pocket by this here diver. And then I used my favorite gun to show up the blood that was on it. And that slipped about Sholm's little scam in his card game last night. The, um, the annulment of which resulted in the coin returning to the ownership of Mr. Naruto, allowing me to pay Iris the money I owed her after all. For the herb she bought in order to make Susie's special blend tea. And now, after all that, the coin is resting safely in my pocket. Yeah, you're right. That was an adventure. But what are we supposed to take away from it, eh? That this one shilling coin belongs to Iris and Iris alone, I think? I cannot follow your observation, Mr. Naruto. Well, you know what they say. What goes around comes around. Good God. Why do I get the feeling that Irish knew it was coming around for to her from the very beginning? <laughs> for like, priceless as they say. Well then, my dear fellow. How about this evening we indulge in some bitter tea and a bitter rematch? I'll even allow you to stake the coming months uh, spending money in advance. I fold. Man, this one's awesome. The writing in this game is so good. And that's the only thing that I have an issue with in the Ace Attorney games, is that there's not enough downtime to just let the characters absorb each other. There's always something happening, which is why I really liked the uh, the anime. The anime was uh, fantastic. Like, a little rushed, but fantastic. And in the next episode, we'll get on to the last one. Ooh. Zeke's. So, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.